It was my mum, really, who suggested, who said, you know, teaching's really good, teaching fits in well with school holidays if you have a family um, and you really, really love kids, so why don't you look at that? What I've always felt was that children are the centre of the education system. I would say that the education system is now failing people because it is now not child-centred. The education system is now very much Ofsted-centred. So people teach now so that they will pass the Ofsted when they come in. And that means that all children now are in a sausage factory. They, whatever you store, whatever ingredients you start with, you're going to turn out sausages. And that isn't the way the world works and it isn't the way that children are. I spent two years in Malawi and I was teaching boys aged between 16 and 25. The boys were like boys everywhere, despite the fact that everybody said before we went, oh, they'll be so keen to learn. They were because they'd saved up to go, but still a bit like kids anywhere. They didn't really want to do the homework and some of them did and some of them didn't and some of them were rude and some of them were mouthy and they were typical teenagers really. The diary of Anne Frank is very re revealing for girls. It reveals her innermost thoughts as a girl of 14, 15 and the boys in Malawi never gave a second's thought to what any girl would think about anything because it's a very paternalistic state. The boys asked me if she was a prostitute because of her thoughts, which made me laugh quite a lot. I did explain she wasn't and that all girls thought like that, which was quite an education for them in itself. So I'd love to go back, I'd love to go back and see what's happening in the education system, see if girls are any higher up the pecking order or if women are still considered second-class citizens.